Ferrari, yeah, it's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. I am rocking out with that 50 Cent Wangster. Thanks to my man NEAU92 for asking me to play at 50 Cent Wangster. He says, since he made millions with Bitcoin. Yeah, that's true, man. For those that don't know, 50 Cent, the rapper, um, actually sold one of his albums a few years ago for Bitcoin. He accepted Bitcoin for the album sales. And I think it was about 400 and some change, $450,000. He um, he actually accumulated in Bitcoin from the sales. And he forgot about the whole stash and recently found out that he still had it and now it's worth about six or seven million dollars so there you go uh neau that's for you for these wanksters out here let's go ahead and get into the market cap really quickly before we roll into this article as i stated i thought we would bump a, above that uh 400 billion dollar market cap and we surely did we're sitting at 411 billion and Bitcoin's dominance is, has dropped a little bit, 34.5% now. Uh, overall, pretty green day for us today. Everything is looking green, to be honest with you. So, things are looking well, people. Now, on to the actual article and what we're going to be discussing today. Um, this actually article came out a couple of days ago, or a few days ago, six, six days to be exact. And... It's um, it should be a reminder to everyone to really even with hardware wallets, you have to stay diligent in security and in keeping your things secure. OK, so um, essentially uh, there's a middle middleman attack that's going on or they call it man in the middle. And we're going to get into the details of that. I will have to say uh, just I do want to just kind of give you guys a disclaimer this is not directly pertaining to ledger uh ledger nanos it th this can be any hardware wallet and really what this article should be a lesson for uh you guys on is checking the addresses always check i usually check the first four or five characters in the string of the address and the f uh, last four or five characters just to make sure those two are um, lining up and matching to either recipient, uh, any recipient, or if you're receiving something, uh, you make sure that's the case as well. So let's take a look at this actual article, though. It says here, hardware wallet manufacturer Ledger, which sold over 1 million devices last year, has alerted its users to a major attack vector. Uh, that's recently been discovered although there are no report reported cases of the attack being successfully deployed the threat itself is very real today ledger urged users of its cryptocurrency wallets to take steps to avoid falling prey to the address spoofing attack so the attack is actually called a uh, man in the middle and it says here hardware wallets are regarded as one of the safest means of storing Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The USB cold storage devices eliminate the sort of attack vectors synonymous with being connected to the web. But to send funds or issue a receiving address, a hardware wallet has to be plugged into the internet enabled device, which is basically making the wallet hot. And uh, researchers have discovered a vulnerability that attacks or affects ledger devices at this stage. A newly published report reveals the way the man in the middle attack would play out. It explains. So it says here ledger wallets generate the displayed receive address using JavaScript code running on the host machine. Malware can simply replace the code responsible for generating the receive address 
with its own address, causing all future deposits to be sent to the attacker. So, um, as I've stated, guys, this is not a ledger, nano ledger specific issue. I've uh, Nick from Truth Blitz has had a few of his um, in the individuals he's helped purchase cryptocurrencies have this same issue with malware on their computers not even using a, a nano or any hardware wallet simply malware replaces the address that you're copying um, that you have copied in your in your memory in your uh, memory slot on the hardware of your computer malware will swap that address out with a different one so like I said I would always encourage you guys to check the first four or five characters before sending um, to an address but also check the last four or five just to make sure those line up and if they do in the field that you're copying to send funds to then you should be straight um, but it goes on to say here that you know the article kind of brings up the fact that there should be 2FA enabled on Ledger software and it says here this solution while effective is not a fail safe uh, method in that it's relying on the user remembering to follow this procedure every time they transact as the report points out, a proper solution would be to enforce the user to validate the receiving address before every receive transaction. Just like the wallet forces the user to approve every send transaction. That's the system that Tracer uh, now uses in with its hardware wallets, mandating the use of TFA simply to access the receiving address. It is hoped that Ledger will follow suit in updating its devices to adopt this methodology. Hardware wallets are still significantly safer than leaving funds stored on a central centralized exchange, but no solution is entirely foolproof, as the Ledger case demonstrates. So, what do you guys think? Do you think um, Ledger um, enabling TF, um, TFA will 2FA, I should say, will help? Um, I hear that they actually have a plug-in. Let me see if they have a plug-in for Chrome that um, that does this, that that makes sure users double-check their um, send re send addresses before they can actually send the funds off. So uh, there is an update in the Chrome application for Ledger, and also their their full uh, Windows OS software as well so let me know your thoughts about that people make sure you stay safe with those wallets and i have to also give credit to t stewart for sending me this article um i think it was like last week or so i'm just so behind in getting these articles out that i have queued up so there you have it people make sure you like and subscribe and definitely keep your funds safe people it's your boy crypto blood i'm out Holla. Don't be a wankster.